Hello, this is Jordan from Be Visual New Arts. Um, today we are going to be talking about a problem I've been working on for a long time. And excuse the audio, I don't have very good, I'm doing the audio off my iMac, so I got a little noise in the background. But hopefully it'll be worth it. Now, my, what I, we're dealing with is exporting Moto animation into Blender. Now, when doing this, I, I have a problem. When I export the animation and import it into Blender, the animation is flipped, and I'll show you what's going on. But first, I'm going to show you how I export my scene. Now, what we're going to be doing is we'll be using Nuke Chan files, OBJs, and MDD Deformer. That's MDD Deformer. All right. Now, first, what we'll do is well, actually, first you got to get the plugin. So, um, what you're going to do is Google or go to www.moto.sensen.tv now there you'll find the nuke plugin right here you want to um, install that, I'm not going to go into details how to install it but it's a tutorial of people who know how to use Blender and also Moto now once that's installed you'll go to the setup tab it's way up, setup tab have a tab just like this right here new chan all right what you want to do is export your camera I got it right here so I'll just say that go to step six all right save the frame for a second and everything all right so next what you want to do is export your OBJs. So export as or export OBJs. Let me save it as Carmen Fox. I lost my cursor. Okay. Um, lastly, I got my animation all done, as you can see. You want to export your animation as your MDDs. So you go up to the Animate tab, go Export and DD. And what you'll see is this, don't worry about it. What it's going to do is going to save your cube as cube MDD. So I'm just going to open that. It's ex I'm just going to overwrite that. And we're ready to go with Blender. And what you do is you'll start with the um, default cube. You want to delete that. And just leave it like a good measure. Um, Import your scene, so import your OBJs. Alright, everything imported, everything separate, so it's a cool thing. And let's import our camera data. What with the new Chan, you will be applying the data to an existing camera. So what we're going to do is go to File, click on your camera, File, Import. Now here's where we come to the problem, the flipped animation. Now if I um, click on the cube, I do what you usually do, import the white wave and uh, point catch MDD and apply the MDDs. What happens is, as you can see, first of all, I'm going to go to one frame, what? Well, you can't see it. Happens, but if you see, see how it's going through the car a little bit. What's happened is the animation's flipped around on the Z uh, Z axis. All right, that's what's going on. It should, it should be going the other way. It should, the cube should be flipped around. All right, the animation's flipped. And for a year, I've been going back and forth trying to figure out different way methods. I use ABC. I try to use FBX, um, Collada all those formats but nothing ever worked but until recently I found a help on Google where what you do is get rid of the animation so now it no, no longer has animation on it what you do is you click on the cube go to the modifiers tab uh, alright 
mesh catch. Now what you gotta do is you got a um, a option for MDD or point catch too. You want MDDs. Go to your file. Desktop. Box of a cube MDD. And play the clip. Oh wait, nothing's happened. But what we do go back to the modifier tab. Click on flip axis to Z axis. As you can see, it's correct now. So that's my tutorial on how to fix the problem of flipped MDDs. Um, I'm going to copy other YouTubers and say like and subscribe if you like it. Um, hopefully, in the future, I'll be making more tutorials.